Okay, I've had a few people ask me questions about table of contents and setting up heading styles. And the problem they've got is they have a number of headers before their table of contents. So for instance, I've created a document here where I have an abstract and I've just used ellipsum or lorem ipsum text here. Uh, I've then got a lay summary and then I've got my introduction method section. Um, and I may want to have my contents page after the lay summary. So for instance, I may not have abstract and lay summary. This is just the scientific way of doing things. I may have um, an acknowledgement. I may want to thank my family and, and all the other people I want to thank for my report. I may also want a, a list, a table of um, acronyms or, or things like that. So, so what I may want to do is have my content page after the lay summary, for instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a a page break before the introduction. If though, if you don't know how to do page breaks, command return or on a Mac or control return on a PC is the standard page break insertion. So now I've got a page break um, and I want to put my table of contents, let's just say here, I don't really mind where I want to put it, I'm just going to put it on this page here. So I go uh, to my um, references section uh, and I go to table of contents and I'm not going to make too much of a big deal of which table of contents I want to use. That's covered in one of the other tutorials that I've got. So just for the sake of argument, I'm going to choose the classic. And you can see it's automatically made a table of contents for me, where one is the abstract on page one, two is the lay summary also on page one, and then introduction and methods appear on page two because that's exactly where they are. But of course what it's done is it's called introduction number three, methods number four, because that's what Heading 1, which is the header I use to define the table of contents, is set to. Now this is a really neat trick, also it's probably the simplest thing to do. I want to get rid of 1 and 2 here, and I want introduction to be 1. Well, it is as simple as clicking on the header, going to the default page and turning off the numbers. Turn off the numbers. Now it's called abstract but it's still heading one. All I've done is I've modified the numbering format of that paragraph format, that style, just for this instance, now just for this instance, and I go down. Introduction is still three, but if I right click and update the fields, sorry, update the whole table, abstract and lay summary have now become non-numbered, and introduction is now called one and methods two. And if I go down now, introduction is now one and methods is two. And my table of contents now looks correct. So you can see what I've done by renumbering and just removing those numbers and then recreating my table of contents. I've created what looks like a much nicer table of contents. So if I wanted to add another paragraph, let's just add one and call it um, abbreviations, I'll call that heading one. If I right click, update the entire table, abbreviations becomes one. Let's get rid of that one by removing the number, update the entire table. And now abbreviations appears there as well. So that is the simplest way of modifying your table of contents to accommodate um, prologues essentially, to accommodate information prior to a table of contents that you don't want to appear on a numbered list. Just as a, a little addendum to this, of course, you might want to renumber these with different letters. So just, I don't know why you'd want to do it, but you might want to do it. You may want abstract to be A, lay summary to be B, um, and abbreviations to be C, just, just because that's what you want to do. Um, you'd have to adjust the, the scaling and things on these, but if then if you update the field here, they become A, B, and C. So you can do anything you like here. You can number these anything you like, and it'll automatically update the table of contents. And the good news is it numbers numerically from the next step, which is the introduction. So I hope that helps. There's been a number of questions on one of the other videos about this, but this is the simplest way of doing that.